If 25.0 mils of 0 0.150 molar barium hydroxide, a base, is required to react completely with 45.0 milliliters of hydrochloric acid solution, what's the molarity of hydrochloric acid? This is exactly like our titration uh, experiment that we did. Um, we were asked to find the molarity of an unknown acid, and that's exactly what we have here. So we are neutralizing hydrochloric acid with barium hydroxide. Okay, so we're going to get water because it's a neutralization reaction, and we're going to get a salt, barium chloride. Remember, barium is plus two, so we need two chlorides. It's soluble. So our mole ratio is going to be two hydrochloric acids to one barium chloride, and that's two water molecules. All right, in this case, we're given volume and molarity of our base, and we're given volume of our acid. So we need to figure out what is the molarity of the acid. So we're given 45.0 mils of acid. The molarity is what we're looking for. In the case of the barium hydroxide, we're given 25.0 milliliters and 0.150 molar. So uh, we know two things about the barium hydroxide and we need to find the molarity of our acid. So we're going to start off with our base in this case, just like we did in our titration. The only difference is our mole ratio. So we'll start off with 25.0 milliliters of the solution, and that's barium hydroxide, okay, and we're going to multiply, we need to change it because we need to convert it here, so we need to change milliliters into liters, and then we're going to need to um, change from liters to moles. So now I'm going to use my molarity, that's 0 0.150 moles of barium hydroxide per one liter solution. So liters will cancel, milliliters cancel. And now I have my mole ratio. So I'm going to have uh, two moles of hydrochloric acid, I want that on top, and again, I'm solving for my molarity of HCl, so I want moles per liter, so I have moles on top, to one mole barium hydroxide. Okay, now I have my moles. The next thing I need is I need to divide by the volume because I want moles over liters. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. I want my volume on the bottom. So I'm going to divide by milliliters. I'm going to put one on top. So dividing by one over milliliters, multiplying by one over milliliters is the same as dividing by the milliliters. So this is 45.0. Now I need to convert from milliliters into liters. Okay, don't forget that conversion. So I'm going to get rid of the 10 to the minus 3, so that's fairly convenient. I'm getting rid of milliliters, and what's left is moles HCl over liters solution. I didn't cancel out those liters, just the 10 to the minus 3. So, 25 times 0 0.150 times 2 divided by 45.0 equals, and how many digits will we have? Well, we've got three sig figs here, three here, three here. So it's going to be 0 0.167 molar HCl, and that's my answer.